Okay. Song you always wanted to learn? Aqualung? Actually, this is just the acoustic part of it, so um, the other part I'll have to do in another lesson. It's a lot harder. So the, the acoustic part of Aqualung by Jethro Tull, you're going to start off with an E minor. So you take uh, behind the second fret on the fourth and fifth strings, that's an E minor, and you strum all six strings. And then it's a D, which is like that little triangle I showed you right here. Um, behind the second fret on the first string, the third fret on the second string, and the second fret on the third string. And you strum the bottom four strings. Okay, so E minor. And the next one is, uh, is an A, an A major. Start off with your uh, your pointer finger and put it on the third string behind the second fret and then behind the second fret the two strings right next to it on, on either side of it that's an A you're gonna have one two three you're gonna have the a finger on each of these strings right here behind the second fret on the bottom on the second third and fourth and then you strum the bottom five strings okay so E minor Now from there you're going to go to an A minor, and it's not that hard to do. It's uh, your pointer finger is on the second string behind the second fret, behind the first fret, and then these two fingers are going to go behind the second fret on the next two strings, which are the third and fourth, and then you strum the bottom five strings. That's an A minor. It went from an A, a major to an A minor. And those are the four chords you're going to use. So here's how it goes. Starts in E minor. D. D. A. A minor. Then it goes back to E minor and D. So it's those four chords and then E minor and D uh, one more time. Okay, so here goes. D. you sing Aqualung, you always have to do it in a British accent, because Ian Anderson is British, and it, if you don't do it in a British accent, it don't sound good. So if you're going to sing it, it goes, Aqualung, my friend, don't you start away uneasy. You poor old son, you see it's only me. That little part at the end, um, a lot of people do that when they have a D and they just lift up that that middle finger which is on the bottom on the first string that's how you get that effect everybody does that so if you want to look like you're cool uh, just play a D and then give it one of those so everybody thinks you know what you're doing okay so that's the, the entire acoustic part of it and there is a part where it where it speeds up Still remember December's 43 when the ice to come down to your beards was screaming. It's the same chords, it's just uh, speeds up for that little part right there. And that's it. Good luck if you're a Jethro Toll fan. You gotta know how to play this one. Alright.